Hi, my name is Vincent, and today I want to take a look at how to use the second derivative test. So we have find the local extrema of f of x equals x minus 2 cosine x, where x is between 0 and 2 pi, using the second derivative test. Okay, now, just in case you don't have this in your notes, here is the second derivative test. Now, in order to apply this correctly, we need to break this down in stages. And the first thing we need to do is find the critical values of f of x. So that tells us we need to find the first derivative. So we have f prime of x is equal to, and the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, which will change that second part to plus 2 sine x. So from this step here, we need to set the first derivative equal to 0 so that we can find the critical values. So we'll have 1 plus 2 sine x equal to 0. And then to solve for sine x, or to find the x values that'll make this true, we're going to isolate sine x. So we'll subtract 1 and divide by 2 on both sides. So we have sine x equals negative 1 half. Now we should recall that sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. So the solution to this equation will fall somewhere in quadrants 3 or 4. So to find those particular solutions, we need to find our reference angle. And sine of x is equal to positive 1 half when x is 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians. So our reference angle will be pi over 6, which tells us our solutions here, which we said will fall in quadrants 3 and 4. To find our quadrant 3 solution, we're just going to do pi plus pi over 6, which will give us 7 pi over 6. And to find our quadrant 4 solution, we'll do 360 or 2 pi radians minus the reference angle pi over 6, which gives us 11 pi over 6. Okay, so these are our two solutions on the interval from 0 to 2 pi for this particular equation here. And if we want to label them, this is your quadrant 3 answer and your quadrant 4 answer, because this will come into play later. So then to complete this problem, to apply the second derivative test, the next thing we could do is find the second derivative. So for this last part here, we're going to have f double prime of x equals the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of 2 sine x is 2 cosine x. So to classify these values as either a local minimum or a maximum, we're going to plug in these critical values into our second derivative here. So first we'll start with 7 pi over 6. We have f double prime of 7 pi over 6 is equal to 2 cosine 7 pi over 6. Now remember, our reference angle is 30 degrees, and 7 pi over 6 is in quadrant 3. So our answer is automatically negative here. We're going to have negative 2, and cosine of pi over 6 is radical 3 over 2. So our solution here, this is going to work out to negative radical 3, which is less than 0. So this tells us that f double prime of 7 pi over 6 is negative radical 3, which is less than 0. But the conclusion of the second derivative test tells us that if our critical value evaluated in our second derivative is negative, then f of 7 pi over 6 is a local maximum. Okay, And this is based on the result that our second derivative was negative at this particular critical value here. And this is uh, not mandated, but if you forget this component of the second derivative test, just know if your second derivative is negative, the curve is going to be concave down. And when you have a concave down curve, it's going to generate a local maximum here at the top. So that's how I remember this. Like, you know, if I forget the theorem, I just think of what does it mean to be concave down? Your curve takes this shape, which would generate a local maximum. So that's why f of 7 pi over 6 is a local maximum. So then to close this problem out, now we have to check 11 pi over 6. So we're going to plug this into our second derivative. And we'll have 2 cosine 11 pi over 6. And this time around, we have a quadrant 4 reference angle here. Oh, I'm sorry, we have a quadrant 4 angle. And in quadrant 4, cosine is positive. 
So we're going to get the same exact numerical answer here, except this time our answer is going to be positive because we're in quadrant four where cosine is positive. So this is going to equal positive root three, which is greater than zero. So based on this result, since f double prime of 11 pi over six is positive, this tells us that f of 11 pi over six is a local minimum. Okay, and once again, if you forget what the conclusion here is, that when your second derivative is positive, is that a local max or a local min? Remember, when your second derivative is positive, that means your curve is concave up. So it's going to take this shape here. And when you have a U shape, you can, you're going to have a local minimum at the bottom. So it's the same mental check to verify that this is, in fact, the right conclusion we're taking here. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on how to apply the second derivative test. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.